Hello and welcome to Spring Bar Media's Educational Technology Tips. Today we're going to change direction a little bit and take a look at a different program, iBooks Author. iBooks Author is a free application for Macintosh computers running 10.7 that allows you to create your own iBooks. When you first open iBooks Author, you'll see that there's a bunch of different templates you can choose from. Let's choose this classic one. So now you can see in iBooks Author, you have a bunch of different information on your page. On this side, you have a list of all the pages and chapters you've created. On this middle part, you have a preview of your chapter, and you have a bunch of tools across the top. One easy way to import information is to insert it from a Pages or Word document. So you're going to go to Insert, and you're going to choose Chapter from Pages or Word document. So now you can choose what kind of layout you'd like to use for this imported section. And it's going to import all the information that you just used in your pages document. It makes a new page for every page in your document. Let's take a look at the widgets. Another cool way to add information is to choose a widget. A widget is setting up a blank space where you can put this information in. You can use a gallery, which is going to be a group of images which slide. A review is going to be like a quiz at the end of the chapter. An interactive image is when a person touches the image, a different piece of information zooms in or pops up, and you can choose what information you're going to show. An HTML snippet, a 3D image, a keynote presentation, which will go through the exact keynote, or media, which is most likely a movie or audio. If I choose one, I can see it pops up on the page. For those of you familiar with Pages or Keynote, you know that the Inspector is a place where you can make any changes to content on your page. If we go into this one, we know that this object causes wrap, and we can decide how tightly we'd like the text wrapped around this object. If we go into that last part of the Inspector, this is the new part that you wouldn't see in Keynote or Pages. This is right for iBooks Author. So it shows you what your default view is going to be and what information you're going to add into your image. It also allows you to change the layout with the title, uh, the label, the caption, and the background. This is pretty much the same interface you'd see for all the different widgets. Here you're able to put in the answers and choose which one is correct. iBooks Author is just like Keynote or Pages where I can just hit delete to get rid of something I no longer want. I can scroll between my pages here, or I can even add new pages by clicking on the plus and selecting what I'm looking for. Now this makes us chapter two. When you're ready to preview your iBook, you're going to plug your iPad into your computer. Then you're going to hit the preview button. Make sure that iBooks is open on the, on the iPad that you have connected. And you should see your book pop up in iBooks. It's not actually moving it to the iPad, it's just allowing you to view it on the iPad because the desktop experience is really only half of what you're really going to see. The greatest thing about iBooks Author is that you can rotate 3D images, you can actually take the quiz, and you can play the movies that you embed. Thanks for watching today's active tip. I hope you've enjoyed it. Check out some more resources on our website. If you're interested in making your own e-textbooks, check out our summer boot camps for teachers at phillybootcamps.eventbrite.com and extonbootcamps.eventbrite.com.